A public hearing today in this case sparked a lot of controversy when it happened back in spring of last year and then this last July when a grand jury decided not to indict the former Metro police officer. The incident happened outside the Venetian in May of last year. After a chase, police say Kenneth Lopera hit Tashi Farmer in the head up to 12 times, used a stun gun seven times and held him in a chokehold even after being told by another officer to let go. Lopera said he thought Farmer was a carjacking suspect. Last month, the Clark County District Attorney scheduled a public fact-finding review at the request of Tashi Farmer's family and other community members. The DA's office had charged Lopera with involuntary manslaughter and oppression under color of office. Sheriff Joe Lombardo said he agreed with charges against Lopera. Last month, we asked Clark County DA Steve Wolfson if he thought the charges should still stand after the non-indictment. Although I may have my personal feelings of uh, LaPera's guilt or innocence, uh, ethically as the prosecutor, uh, I'm not allowed to go forward if I don't think I can prove it before a jury, and that's where I have uh, extreme doubt. DA Wolfson said the grand jury was unable to find probable cause to charge LaPera. There is a civil lawsuit filed by Tashi Farmer's children and his mother. The family attorney is asking people to show support by attending the review. It's at 9 a.m. inside the Clark County Commission Chambers. Live this morning, back to you.